Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51, second round match between, I've got no idea, um, and we'll have to wait a little bit longer as well, Talk 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 and his human team, and Rata Campera and his Kemri team, and uh, there we go, Talk 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 has got a babe for inducements, he's got a sexy ogre, uh, oh it's a deleted one. Kemri should be a minus one in here. Yeah, he should, should he? Uh, He's got a mercenary lineman as well, I guess, is what he's bought there. Interesting. Not what I'd done. Who can say it was good or bad? Um, tackle Pommer with jugs. Okay. A couple of guards. It's a bit of a light human team, this, isn't it? It's not the best human team ever. But, you know, he's got a nice catcher. And he's got... I mean, it's hard to sell it. It's hard to sell anything about this team, to tell you the truth. But, you know, it's a human team. The Olga's nice. <laughs> um, the Camry have a really nice thrower. Holy shit. Strength 4, edge 4. A vampire thrower. That's incredible. Um, really good Tomb Guardian. Two rookie Tomb Guardians. Oh, no, God. One's worse than rookie. It's mine's move. Jesus. It's a it's a mighty blowless mummy. <laughs> uh, one's got some normals, strength four blitzra, and a tackle palm frenzy blitzra. So super interesting. Yeah, that's it. That's incredible. The the vampire, the vampire throw right is amazing. Holy moly! And hello, Cyton Rick. And hello, everybody. I didn't say by name. Sorry. But hello everyone, and uh, yeah, this is uh, super interesting. <laughs> mm. Easy 2D on this lad. Course instant pile. That's why you glorious. pile on every time, no, even I against armor nine with no armor break. Until I'm victorious, and I will defend. Oh, see these I people who defend. think they're clever and act like you shouldn't always pile on. Don't want to be a legitimate Stupid. American idiot. That song probably wouldn't have done very well. <laughs> also, hello. <laughs> I think it would have done fantastically well. Thank you very much, Satterfield, for staying fantastic for 62 glorious months. And also, hello. 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 <laughs> it's great. It's great. Honestly, the best things the Germans do is, is how they say hello. <laughs> the literal best thing about the language. And probably the people. <laughs> Yeah, uh, is this a four plus did no five plus did the ball three four five six no no it's he's one short he's one short I thought that was nearly like a five plus to hit the ball which is you know might be worth doing uh, there are four tomb guardians one got brutally KO'd by a pile on last turn but kind of three. Three Tomb Guardians and a really fucking slow Tomb Guardian. A weak mummy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of hidden by the, by the ogre, yeah. Especially if at this angle. <laughs> if you watch here, look, there's only two Tomb Guardians. It's a glorious throw, right? Yeah. Fua. Oh, wow. Lovely two D. 
a full pow. And because his first Tomb Guardian got removed by this guy, he's like, yeah, do you want to, do you want to remove another one? <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Ah, oh, diced. So it's a bit of a bit of an elf stall here, isn't it? Moving the ball back, just trying to fight, which is pretty good because he's down a tomb guardian. Oh wow, well, going for the foul! Huge foul! Yeah, this is a strange, a strange uh, strategy by the Camrys of feeding feeding tomb guardians to the bomber. <laughs> Lovely hit there though. Oh my god. Gets the tackle mighty on the on the glorious catcher. Instantly kills him. Fua. Only one apple as well. I'm surprised, honestly, that talk 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 didn't get an extra apple. Like this 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 guy, he's got a fucking lineman. A mercenary lineman instead of an apple. Or maybe it is, maybe he used his own money so he got a merc and a babe instead of just an apple. In which case, fair enough, because you are going to lose several people, I guess. So, just another body is, is not the worst. Oh. Well, he gets uh, he gets a bit of revenge there. I don't know how he's gonna uh, get any penetration. Though, and now he's only got one catcher as an outlet. Doesn't have a good one anymore. For the drive. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can see, the, you know, taking the the merc and the babe over just an apple. I can see the logic if he's putting his money for that. I don't agree with it, but there you go. Ah, hello, Trent. <laughs> I'm legitimately an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Holy shit. <laughs> what are you talking about? I've only had eight shots. <laughs> about five minutes after saying, this is my tenth shot. <laughs> oh, great. Glorious stream. It should be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> That's what my dad was always like when he had like a massive hangover. He's like, oh, I, th I think I ate a bad sandwich last night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally unrelated to the 20 pints. <laughs> oh, 
No, one in nine. Oh, re-rolls, but it was only versus the wrestler. Like, it was, oh, because he was doing that, okay. Oh, well, it gets a chance. Lovely. A good, good bit of wrestling, isn't it, there? Uh, first notch wrestling. Oh, hey! hey. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Imagine relying on punching wrestlers and not wanting a one in nine. Well, it's somehow opened up for Talk Talk, hasn't it? This drive. It's still not that easy because he still has to. He still has to contend with this vampire that might shut him down. No, oh, or he can just do this GFI here. Burr. <laughs> Oh my god! There's only one thing. There's only one thing you can say about that line, that uh, that thrower. I'm legitimately an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna break me. I might have to get rid of that. I might have to get rid of that sound effect. I legitimately have might have to delete that sound effect because it might just break me. Oh god. And yeah, oh, if, oh, he just happens to have a vampire here with sure hands as well. Lovely. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Because the GFI, was it necessary? Like, he still had this one in nine off that would have been just about as good. <sighs> so, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks very much, Tread. Yep. Glorious. <laughs> I only steal from the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Is there a is there a score on here? <laughs> Original content. <laughs> oh flux stream it. So yeah, there's no counter score on, is there? The uh, the movement three tomb guardian is the only <laughs> the only player in the opposing half. But still, stopping the score after getting three players removed as Kemri is pretty sweet. Okay, remove three as well, but but you know, like Kemri need to not get the players removed because they're meant to be the bash team, aren't they? I'm legitimately an idiot. <laughs> Oh, that was a bad blitz, wasn't it? It's better just to dodge, mate. Oh, he hasn't got a reroll. Ah, okay, he hasn't got a reroll. Oh man, the idiot's gonna get me. Like the crabs is really funny. The crabs is really funny as well. The crabs I gave my flatmates were the best crabs you could ever get. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty good as well, isn't it? <laughs> pretty great, pretty great drunken trend stream last night. Oh wow, that is a huge cast, no regen. Oh my god, that is, that is. Maybe game over. He stopped the score, but at what a cost. Flip me. Flip me, guys. That could be all she wrote. Oh, and he scores. He doesn't even, doesn't even stop the score. Oh, my God. GG. Don't say it's over. <laughs> Don't say it's over. But, um... <laughs> That's pretty brutal, isn't it? Oh man. Oh man. The follow there was pretty bad, wasn't it? I think. Put in the a bit, but shouldn't you just block the did they both have dodge? He hit one with a tackler, didn't he? And then blitzed 
the sidestepper. I don't know. I don't know if he could have done something better there. He, uh, he probably should have done something better. Maybe he should have risked the dodge off, you know, even though it's a 1 in 6. It's obviously scary and like talk, 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 got in that situation because of 1 in 36. If if making that 1 in 6 is better than whatever else happens, it's better, isn't it? You know, like, ultimately. Ultimatively. That's a lovely uh, heat for the humans, guaranteeing the ogre for the second half. Lovely heat. Going for the one turn here. Could have done. You know, really could have done. A tight LOS. Um, 11 players. Could have done the, all the things, then, and then it would have been a lot easier to score as well. <laughs> God, who's. <laughs> is this like. Is this. Help me, or something. Help me, always did press S to spit on the French, didn't he? <laughs> I remember that. Well, he got some pawns instead of trying the one turn, and who knows, maybe maybe scoring a touchdown would have been better. But you can forgive Rata Campera for his head not being in the game right now, can't you? And that's uh, that's got to be a little bit tilting to go from stopping the score to not only not stopping the score but having your best player miss next game, permanently injured, and. Almost certain losing this round. Well, almost certain is a bit strong, but uh, certainly not looking good. A chance to get screwed with our Tomb Guardian heat as well. Doesn't, but it's the other ball carrier. <laughs> He's down ball throw rats. <laughs> ah, and down, but down two players for the humans. The humans have got hardly anyone to stop him. No, we could we could get overtime here, eh? This could be an overtimey situation. Because okay, there's no sure hands, but, it, but there, and there is two two catches to harass, but there's hardly any human players. So yeah, an apple wouldn't have soaked up an overheat, would it? On the other hand, you could say the other one's doing nothing because. It failed the heat. Who can say if it was good or bad? But, um. Not what I would have done. <laughs> I think he could have probably defended this even more, right? Put the air uh, stand firm going out on the wing. Really, really uh, defended much harder against this because he's own, like, how many players has he got? Three, four, five. He's got nine. It's not that bad, actually. I kind of thought he had less than that. Um, so, you know, it really is one of the few ways he can get into it is uh, is the blitz or whatever. So I feel like he could have defended harder against Le Blitz. The inducements were a mercenary lineman and a babe for talk, talk, talk. Oh, there's another one gone. Now he's down away. I like having the two tacklers near the ball. And just removing everybody a punch. That is also pretty good. That's a pretty good strategy. I don't like this so much. 
he's leaving himself a little bit open to the uh, ogre, ogre shenanigans here almost. Well, we could have this guy run around, block there, and then we could have the ogre dodge off and blitz, <laughs> and then really put a <laughs> really put the cat amongst the pigeons. Yeah, so he's kind of doing the same, but without the blitz. Then this gives you the lineman through down there as well, which is pretty nice. Really nice. Oh, I don't like tagging the team. I would have rather tagged this guy. Oh, he's got tackle, hasn't he? Yeah. Well, he could have tagged the tackle. Oh, and he's just punching. Mm, I think I'm. I think I prefer. I think I prefer Olga dodge, dodge off. Because it's pretty desperate for the humans, so I think you like if, you know you want to get your dice rolling in now, while the drive is still in the balance, like the stabilisation phase, if you like. Um, make your plays while you still got a kind hell's chance. Because if you don't. Just gonna get pwned. No need to pile on there, lovely. May lovely. <laughs> That's what they all say right down there, isn't it? I mean, you can't, yeah, no, I think you shouldn't pile on a KO in this situation. One of the few situations where not piling on is correct. Again, we could have seen that, that Olga Blitz. It's honestly a bit lame to take Blodge on, on him and then not dodge. Oh, it's, he's minus AG, isn't he? He's minus AG. Oh boy, howdy. The humans have got the ball. Now it's very, very, very scary. They have to put in a reroll here. I'm trying to get this ball sorted. You just GFI to hit him. I think it's probably worth just doing the GFI with him to blitz him. And then that gives you two players to react. I think, I think that we probably were. Nah, though, it, actually, of course, this looks amazing now, and you can't catch the scatter like that, then this was definitely the correct play. Yep. What do I know? You can even foul that catcher now as well. Sick. And he's off. He's got him off. And now, one, two, three, four, five humans left. Wow. Down four men in like three turns. And two turns. On his third turn, he's lost four. Pretty brutal. He loves the uphills, doesn't he? Doesn't give a shit. Talk, talk, talk. Must watch uh, more Chunter than Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> the way he's throwing these uphills around. It's probably just perception bias, isn't it? To be fair, like, what is it about thirty percent to fail of an uphill with a skull? So if you see me do one every ten games, 
then uh, there's a decent chance it's a skull. Whereas if you see Chunter do, you know, ten a game, you'll see him you'll see him succeed three and be like, wow, Chunter always succeeds them. That's pretty much how it works, isn't it? Yeah, this is your chunter at home stream. <laughs> Shouldn't be any problems for the uh, camera here. Oof. Big Kaz. Badly hurt. There's all these chaos. Probably coming back. These are only probably coming back because there'll be there'll be one more drive as well. So Like the humans could easily be like have a team for overtime. It's really not over. I think whoever wins the toss is Going to be pretty favoured, assuming Rata Campera can get down and score. But I mean, he's against four human players, so you'd imagine he can make the score here. Oh, maybe not. Look at this, the hero player. An up, another uphill. Let's go. Nearly gets him. Can you afford the surf turn here? I don't think you can. Oh, I thought you had Juggernaut for a second, but... That's fair enough, isn't it? The one in nine's annoying, but then there was no one else he could blitz with that wouldn't have turned over on a one in nine, so. I think it's probably just a bit too greedy to surf. I like not surfing. If the surf was 100% to work, then maybe, but it's not, is it? It's, it's not even guaranteed. Oh boy, howdy. Instant pile on. Kaz. Oh man. Oh man. It's looking pretty bad. Now nah, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, I kind of don't like this block because if it's a push. He's letting the catcher get out, and it's it's a way that you can not win the game, isn't it? And your ways to win the game are so huge at the moment. Giving yourself a way to not win the game. Did not like that. It's, I mean, this isn't going to achieve anything having that guy. It's an easy 3D with block. Why not reroll? Because there's overtime game of vision. So he needs it. You know, he knows that it's going to overtime. You know, he's not going to. He's not going to. He's not going to stop the score and he's not going to. Uh, I mean, he's out of time to score early. Not that there's any point scoring early, really, unless you've got, like, get team that's getting banged up. Getting banged on is pretty much the only reason to not score on turn 8, isn't it? I think it's funny how a lot of people say that they think defence is easier than offence, but... Really, the only time I'm not scoring on turn eight is when I get banged out. Is uh, 
is how it feels. Maybe that's not true. That's how it feels. to be made for not even attempting that with if you're not you know you're not gonna really roll. Could have uh, had another Kaz. So hopefully the chems bang it in. Ooh, only two back. And three pluses. That's pretty unlucky. That's not pretty unlucky. It's a bit unlucky. Three, four, five, six, seven humans. And none are out, which means they could lose another one. Whereas two out for the undead is actually good, unless this one turn is scored. Super interesting. Yeah, this is real bad, isn't it? This is a real bad defense from a uh, Rata Campera, you know? To have two stand firms and then let him just come round and get that was actually terrible. Like, legitimately. <laughs> legitimately terrible. You could, you could say, he could say about himself. I'm legitimately an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, did he use the team reroll on that? I think he did, yeah, that's fair enough, I think, because if you make the five plus pass, you've got a five plus catch with, with team re uh, with skill reroll, then a three plus dodge with skill reroll, two two pluses. I think that's fair. Because you didn't get the players back, and he's got two out with heat, it's looking pretty bad odds for heat. Plus, obviously, 50 50, you win the toss anyway, so. The crabs I gave my flatmates were the best crabs you <laughs> could ever get, okay? <laughs> you go. And. Uh, <laughs> now it's down to nine. French kiss. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> nine humans. Nine, nine humans versus ten camera. <laughs> I'm legitimately an idiot. <laughs> Absolutely. Best Blood Bowl streamer. Confirm. Or in this case, Wizard 101 streamer. <laughs> Hello, Gadenik. Glorious. <laughs> Showed a Nikki Chan she was a big fan. <laughs> Jesus. Man, that is the that is the best Nick. Yeah. Obviously. I I I knew it was a I knew it was a winner. I knew you'd be the best at it, Nick. I knew you'd be the best. And I knew it would be hilarious. Oh my god. So good. 
Oh, he's failed the pickup. Reuse the rail on the pickup. Interesting. Again, he's going to the PC school of just get it done as soon as possible. Uh, and you know that's a pretty that's a pretty good shout, isn't it? I think in this case because you down players, you've got the movement. They haven't. He hasn't defended the sidelines at all with two stand firm strength five players. Okay, and he's he's got eleven men as well, hasn't he? By the looks of it. I think this is an, a terrible, a terrible setup. I think is fair to say by the uh, Camry. I feel like you know if you stick the strength fives on the wings, they're not getting through the wings. Then you've you know at least just slow it down and make them come through the middle by by giving them the sideline. I just think that's terrible. I think that's absolutely terrible, terrible, terrible by Raptor Campera. But you know maybe uh, maybe he was tilted or whatever. Um, you don't know what happened people to people there. Maybe his flat was on fire. Maybe uh maybe his dog was you know it had, had, had uh knocked over a wasp's nest. Who knows? Who knows what was going on? But um the the one turn defence was really bad and the overtime defence was worse. Doesn't even have an only hand. But it might still be good enough. Like, I, I hated the defense, but the uh, the offense, you know, talk, talk, talk. I didn't like this offense, really, but what can you do? Does he just uphill? Does he just uphill this guy? And then so, up, double uphill to score? That's what I'm thinking, the way he's played this half. This whole match, I think we see the uphill, then uphill score. Oh, gets the gets the ball down. So then another uphill. If he got the push there, then, then the actual uphill surf is brilliant. Oh, so surf this guy, okay. Are just making the dodges through? Well, that's definitely wrong compared to blitzing, isn't it? That's like a hundred million percent wrong compared to blitzing through, just uphill. Uphill and you might just pow him. I guess you might, I mean, if you push him, then you could, you could, I don't know, stay where you are. No, I guess it's pretty rubbish. I guess it's a pretty shit spot. Well, there you go. Despite hating uh, Ratacampera's defence here, it looks like it could be enough. Full Necro Blitz. Glorious Tomshnes. Oh, wow. The 1D Blitz with a, a guy able to assist right here. He's got the assist right here. Did he forget about the plus strength? Maybe. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Lovely Kaz. Kills him. But I guess making that a 1D now means he can 2D over here with a blockless block. Completely irrelevantly. We've got three rerolls, so we can reroll the pickup. <laughs> Glorious. Yep. Yeah. And now. Now I can make the blockless block. Oh, gets the pow. No, I must just mean. Just must have forgotten about the plus strength when he did that blitz. And now all of a sudden, yep, there's five humans on the pitch and it's like, no, oh, we've lost. Or have they? Oh. Yeah, probably. 3D surf this guy. 
fill in and tackle 3D tackle upon this one. Well, the defense worked. Maybe it wasn't that terrible because you know he was able to shut down on the sideline play afterwards. Maybe it wasn't terrible, but like with a, I think it was more that talk, talk, talk's offense was bad. I feel like he should have done a better job. But then maybe it was he maybe just didn't have enough players to do a better job. Who knows? Harlong. Diced. It's almost not going to matter what he does now, is it, with uh, four humans left on the pitch. Humans? Just end the turn. No, he's not just ending the turn. Yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. No, when you've got when you've got a full eleven and you've got strength five stand firms to hold the wings, like it, I can't. It can't. It can't be the best option for me. But it worked. So, like you know, I remember Chunter did like just pr the rule of five against me when I had humans in the cup in overtime, and it's like that's different because he's got Skaven. You know, he's got like loads of move nine and move seven. We can get places. Edge four. Humans are like the least responsive. Uh, Kemrys are the least responsive team, aren't they? It was a, it was nine on eleven. Veron, he had the full eleven. He could, he just did a normal rule of five, but with the middle guy back further. So, um, I like. I feel like it has to be the wrong setup with an unresponsive team like Kemry, even up players. Maybe not shit and wrong, but wrong. Three D. Yeah, I quite like the GFI there. I quite like not blocking. If you push. Gives him a 3 plus to hit the ball, doesn't it? So this has got to 4 3. And funny enough, the X roll is why he fails. So there you go. Lovely. It's not quite GG yet, is it? Don't say it's over! <laughs> on the human. This is quite nice, isn't it? Even if he quad skulls, it still still stops him hitting the ball. Kemri, of course, can't raise players they kill for their team. If they could, the optimal strategy would be to foul for another three turns, wouldn't it, if this is undead? Just keep fouling in the hopes of a kill. <laughs> if you're undead on Nurgle here. But, uh... Kemri can bang it in. That's GG. Forrest Whitaker. One of my least favourite actors. <laughs> there you go. Um, commiserations to Talk Talk Talk. Congratulations to Rata Campera. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.